fiber to fabric. Class 6 Science Clothes are made from fibers obtained from plant and animal sources. Let us learn about the history of clothing. About 30,000 years ago, people started using animal skins for clothing. It is believed that wool was used as early as 6,000 years ago. The domestication of silkworms to produce silk occurred around 3000 BC, in China. In India cotton came into widespread use around 3000 BC. These fabrics were not stitched. They were just wrapped around the body. Even today, sari, dhoti, and turban are unstitched pieces of cloth. Clothes are made mostly from fibers. Fibers are thin strands of thread that are twisted together to make yarns. Yarns are woven or knitted to form fabric. For example, cotton fabric and silk fabric. The fabric is stitched to make clothes. For example, cotton fabric can be stitched into a cotton frock or cotton kurta. There are two main processes of making fabric from yarn. Weaving and knitting. Weaving. Weaving involves making fabric by arranging two sets of yarn. It is done using a machine called loom that can be hand operated or power operated. The pattern in which two sets of threads are arranged in a piece of woven cloth is called a weave. Knitting involves making fabric by forming a series of connected loops of yarn by using knitting needles or machines. Sweaters are made from woolen yarns by knitting. Natural and synthetic fibers. Fibers used to make fabric may be natural or synthetic. Fibers that are obtained from plants or animals are called natural fibers. Examples are cotton, jute, wool, and silk. Fibers that are made by man from chemical substances are called synthetic fibers. Example nylon, rayon, polyester, and acrylic. Plant fibers Cotton, jute, coir, silk, cotton, hemp, and flax are examples of plant fibers. Denim, used to make jeans, is also made from cotton. Cotton The cotton plant is a shrub. It grows well in black soil and warm climate. It needs moderate rainfall. Cotton is a soft fiber attached around the seeds of the cotton plant. A variety of textile products are made from cotton. In India, khadi, a coarse hand woven cloth, is made from cotton. Let us see steps involved in the production of cotton. The cotton plant has a small, green fruit called the cotton bowl. The bowl has seeds inside, which are surrounded by cotton fibers. When the cotton bowl matures, it splits open, exposing the raw cotton fibers. The heat of the sun dries these fibers. After the fibers have dried, the crop is harvested. Once the cotton is harvested, it is sent for ginning, where the fibers, called lint, are separated from the seeds. This separation is brought about with the help of strong air currents. The fibers are cleaned and made into long thread like strands. The fibers are spun using spinning machines to form cotton yarn. The process of making yarn from fibers is called 
spinning. Yarn is then made into cotton fabrics by weaving or knitting. Fact file Mahatma Gandhi promoted the use of spinning charkha throughout India. The charkha came to be recognized as the Indian symbol of self sufficiency and independence all over the world. Jute Jute is a fiber obtained from the bark of the jute plant. It can be grown in different soil types, ranging from clay to sandy soil. It grows best in loamy soil that is, mixture of sand, silt, and clay. It grows well in regions where it rains a lot. Almost 80% of the world's high-quality jute comes from Bangladesh. India China, Nepal, and Thailand are other main producers of jute. The jute plant grows 6 to 10 feet in height and has no branches. The stem of the jute plant has a thick bark that has fiber inside it. These fibers are naturally glued together by a sticky substance. Bundles of jute plants are dipped in water. The water rots away the stem and dissolves the sticky substance, separating the fibers. This process of rotting the stems to remove the sticky substance and separate the fibers is called, retting. Jute fibers are used to make jute bags, slippers, hats, curtis, ropes, mats, and sacks, for packaging. No, let us learn about other useful plant fibers. Coir Coir is the fiber obtained from the outer covering or the husk of the coconut. Usually coconuts are left in water for few months. The husk is then separated from the nut and beaten with wooden mallets to get the fiber. The fiber thus obtained is spun and dyed and is ready for weaving. Coir is used to make several household products such as ropes and floor coverings and also as a stuffing in mattresses and pillows. Silk Cotton Silk cotton is another plant fiber that is commonly used as a stuffing in pillows, sleeping bags and life jackets. This fiber is obtained from the silk cotton tree also called kapok. The fruits of the kapok tree contain fibers that are light and fluffy, like cotton. When the fruit ripens, it bursts open, releasing the fibers. Hemp Hemp fibers are obtained from the stem of the hemp plant. Hemp fibers are used in the production of ropes, carpets, nets, clothes and paper flax fibers obtained from the stem of the flax plant are woven to make a fabric called linen flax fibers are also used in the production of ropes and high quality paper recap clothing materials are obtained from both plants and animals Fibers are woven to make fabrics and fabrics are stitched to make clothes. Fibers may be natural or synthetic. Cotton, jute, coir, silk cotton, hemp, and flax are plant fibers. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.